Hey, welcome to the Five Law Bears podcast. <laughs> Glad to have you here with us this evening. Hello. Hello. Nice. Aaron, are you there with us this evening? I'm here. Ooh, Good to have you here with that soprano note, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron was Aaron was like, um, yeah. Bye. That's what we were waiting on from Mr. Aaron. Sweet for the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yes. That's what he does. On his, that's what who he actually is it's on this. Sweet he's like, yeah. That's what Aaron does on the on the weekends. He's, he's got he's my Pepsi this week. week. Yeah, after last week's um, after last week's um, is weird not having the music while we were trying to do the intro and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We had to switch computers halfway through because of my uh, laptop died on us. So we're having to we we'll have to do all our music and post production, but. But uh, yeah, this week, uh, last week we ate the Twinkies. We had the uh, oh. the uh, the uh, cotton candy Twinkies, and now uh, Tim decided he was going to bring his own drink with him this week. Hopefully, he won't pour it on the floor like he did the one week. Where pour we were, oh, some oh. Pepsi on the floor. <laughs> Dang on, man! You, just, you almost pulled one of the things that Charlie did that one time with the microphone. <laughs> the speakers out. Yeah. It was like the rest. I of love them all. We didn't even know it till well. We, we hang on a second. Brian did it. Yeah. Brian. Brian just destroyed it. Yes. This podcast is done. Yeah, we got to start it. Aaron told me to do it. We had a good <laughs> run. Had a good run, guys. Well, that was fun. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again here. You said, you blow that podcast up. What Popped ha- it. What happened? It just went. <laughs> it just <laughs> I'm so boisterous. It's a <laughs> boisterous <laughs> bro. Let me turn the recording down here a little bit. There we go. All right. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> Because we're, we're going to stay focused on this episode, John. Yeah. We're going to knock it, it out. It sounds like we are. I can already see it coming. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We were starting Brian, off awesome. Brian just dropped his microphone. I dropped As, the mic. You see that on the Dan Patrick show all the time. <laughs> That's, uh, that, that dropping of the microphone. Brian, for those in YouTube, you just saw Brian literally just dropped his microphone. He Thank you, Brian. Dropped the mic. Yeah, Brian. Brian. Brian was just back last week. He didn't quite back in a swing of things yet after a couple of weeks off, and uh, so here we are. Glad to have you with us this evening on the on the podcast. Hello, everybody. Uh, Charlie over here on the couch with the Browns couch. Tim's in his chair. Me Hello. behind this mic, Hello. and live from Dallas, Texas. The new Hello. boss, the new boss in the building. The boss. Aaron Allenball is with us again this evening. Aaron, are you still there? Hey, guys, get to work. Yep, here <laughs> we go. We got to. Oh, Aaron so just said it. No loafing. Yes. <laughs> uh, glad to have you with us this evening. Uh, last week, uh, getting ready to uh, go into the fall movie uh, season. It came out last week. I did not go see it. We we should have we should have talked about it a little bit last week, but we but we didn't. It was um, did, I, don't I think heard the clowns coming for Charlie. I, it's what I hear too. Probably it's that's what I hear. Maybe he was that haunted spirit that was haunting you down at your work in the hallway. Possibly. That's, that's what got anyways. that's what got this whole podcast started. Was Fired that up. one story Fired of Charlie up. having to take something. A smoke break and getting chased by ghosts. That, that's what that started. He, well, that, he, that he knew if he turned around, it, he would have died. I was taking the linens down to the dirty linen. <laughs> oh, group, my bad. I was taking the smoke break. Yeah. And if he, if he turned around, it was going to kill him. That mm-hmm. was, And we were like, and then all of a sudden, I know where he goes, we don't start a podcast. Boom. <laughs> and my, my three-year-old niece was like, yeah, let's do it. She was ready to go right then and there. So, yes, yeah, the ghost story that started it all. We had a um, ghost cat true. incident last week. Did you? Yes. Yeah, so I know we're, we're getting into the Halloween season, but... Um, for any of our new listeners, the two or three new listeners that we have, um, two or three hundred new. Yes, listeners. I'm sorry, my bad. Two or three million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be, yeah. It was Doctor Evil. It was Doctor Scratches. <laughs> if we had, <laughs> if we had two or three million listeners a week, I uh, would not be going to work on Monday morning. I'd be, I'd be doing podcasting. Yeah, John be the only one to be able to quit his job. Like, I don't yeah, know, exactly. guys. <laughs> you guys still need to work, but I mean, I'd be like, I don't, John turned into Mister Bow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be uh, I got money. I'd be like Aaron. I'd be texting you Can all like every fifteen Martin. minutes, asking what y'all doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I got a new what idea for the show. I got a new idea for the yeah, show. Yeah, I got a new idea. Boop, 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 boop. That's what my phone does all day. Aaron on it. But um, we were sitting upstairs in the living room talking about ghosts, and we have a ghost cat here. Uh, those on YouTube, you may watch. She, she may run through here at some point. I haven't seen her oh, yet. God. Yeah. Brian used to make fun of it until it actually happened to him. Yeah, it did. Happen one night. It did. I don't believe it. Uh, it it'll happen soon. You're going to get your eyes clawed out now. Too. Yeah, by the ghost cat. But we were sitting up in the living room and we were watching TV and uh, Murphy, our, our our new cat, well, he's not new, he was three years old. We've had him forever. But by comparison. By comparison to Katie. 
he was sitting on my wife's Christmas. lap, sitting there, just minding his own business. Susie was sitting on the couch with me. I don't know why Susie was sitting there. She never sits on the couch with us, but she was there, and I was sitting there, and all of a sudden, he goes, Mwah. Yeah, she's a cat. And, a cat. and so I looked over at Susie. I said, what's he doing? She looked over, and he's sitting there asleep. And this was a sound from somewhere else out into the ether. She's like, I don't think that was him. I don't think it was either. Of course, my wife's like, you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. It was my thing. Carl and I are kindred spirits. Yeah. Uh, the ghost cat. But, uh, yeah. No, she she had, she felt her one day. Felt Just her wait presence. till you get your calf taken out by Katie. Yeah. It's rough. Wait, wait, for, wait for it. Wait I, for I, it. I don't think Katie's going to come get me because we were such good friends when she you was You all alive. were buddies. I mean, surprise. She hated everybody's guts. I mean, literally... Charlie, oh my goodness, he couldn't even come in the house because she would like murder him. That was, that was all of John's <laughs> pets. They all hated Charlie. Mm-hmm. Bogey hated you. It's because animals recognize evil. I wish we could go back and find Rob Bauer and see if he still has the VHS tape of Charlie getting attacked by Bogey in the almost backyard. Losing my arm. Yes. Oh my I was like, this is Bogey. This is a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog literally Mr. almost Bauer his arm taped up. over it with Death Wish 3. <laughs> True story. It probably does. Let's keep going, guys. Yeah. All right. Tonight we got some nerd news coming to you this evening. The we'll get the we'll get the music in there later on. We'll do it. It's gonna be funny because you're gonna play it and you guys are doing it. So yeah. <laughs> There's a post production there. But a um, couple. Oh, we got an arrow story coming here, which I'm pretty psyched about. Yes, tonight an arrow story for all of you. Arrow fiends, Arrow's getting ready to come back on television here in the next few weeks, along with Flash and uh, several of the other shows that they had. Tim, you're not an Arrow fan? No. You're not part of the Arrowverse? I quit watching after the gun episode. No, I, I stuck with it. I, 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 bad, man. I was going to end... That's how my wife died. Yeah, but you're... you're no. The guy that was pro-gun was... A- one whose wife got I killed know. by a gun, and, and to be honest with you, Aaron, uh, Tim is actually doing a better job acting that part out than a guy who's on well, the I'll show do. does. Um, off topic, but not really. It's just my, not your thing here. Um, of all the characters that could have died on Leon Yu, who do you hope died? Mister Terrific, uh, <laughs> Wild Dog, <laughs> Wild and, Wild Dog, and Mister Terrific. Mister Terrific, I'm fine with. No, um, I no. hope that. Um, uh, Canary's no, dead. No, hang on. I'm tired of him crying. You need, no. you, need to, you need to clarify. Are you fine with Mr. Terrific dying or fine with him on the show? Fine with him on the show. Okay, I, I've always liked, uh, I've always liked Curtis as a character. I, I like great. Curtis, but he's terrible as Mr. Terrific. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't care for anybody that wants to know. In my, <laughs> see, this uh, is this is what uh, Brian glazes over like I do during the wrestling Felicity. sessions. <laughs> I hope she died. I, here's Dude. the thing. Felicity's not going to die, but Felicity's she's going to have a mental terror. breakdown and, and turn into like dark Felicity. I'm going to hack the world. Yeah, that that's going to happen. Does she ever get season. the chip put back in her back that makes her so, walk? Yeah. Okay. She was walking. Yeah, yeah. No, that was like she stood up to to give him the ring back or whatever. Yeah, they've been that's passing like, that ring back and forth. All, all, all the all I, these. Never mind. I was yeah, so anyway. I I don't really care who dies on the island. I just uh, somebody. I mean, everybody, but. But um, Deathstroke. Now, because that's where this comes in. Yeah, if, if if the show comes back and it's like Deathstroke now as Arrow, I'll watch it. <laughs> that'd be that'd, that'd be, be cool. amazing. That'd be absolutely Aye. cool. Hey, I've been here down All this. Uh, you <laughs> betrayed the <this> city. <laughs> <laughs> you have failed it. That's right. Get out of here before I have to take you out. Oh my bad, John. I forgot you do the impression. Yes, that's my job. <laughs> it's my job on the show. It's the only job I have. Uh, um, anyways, here's what it says uh, about it. Slade Wilson, fan favorite mercenary, oh. also known as Deathstroke, will seemingly have a big role in the upcoming sixth season of what? the CW's DC comic based superhero Arrow. Uh, watching this show character again. will have a two part flashback episode because if there's one thing Arrow does good, it's flashbacks. I well, mean, they, so, so basically, I, because last season they caught pass up with the present now they're going to do a flashback whole season on Slade Wilson I think they I think they literally flashbacked all with Oliver being in the womb I mean literally at one point Aww. in season three because it was it, they flashback all the time don't I, remember that one it, well it's you know it was, the, was, that, was that after I quit watching it was on Amazon Prime it was the Amazon Prime episode <laughs> special MA episode Aaron, did Amazon you see Prime. that episode yeah he was doing the bar thing in the womb where he you know, hops on the bars <laughs> That is like uh, the most absolutely ridiculous part of the whole show. I mean, what you got to take your shirt off and do your bar lifts? <laughs> I mean, they they should have me doing the bar lifts now. If, if people would watch me do it, then you'd have a show because 
Whew, I don't even like looking at myself in the, the mirror. Sh- the show is only an hour long. <laughs> <laughs> the arms would come off. <laughs> be the end of it. Hold on, guys. It'd be the um, take a break. <laughs> I think, I <laughs> I think I pulled. That'd be the origins of <laughs> Splashback. My name is John Manley, and I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> you have failed this part. Anyways, he has a two-part flashback episode and possibly have uh, members of his family appear on the show as his shadow. If there's one thing Arrow can screw up, <laughs> they're going to do it. Well, <laughs> we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to have probably the best character we've had <laughs> back on the show and we're going to do a flashback about his family. Yeah, it's it's going to have his, it says it says it's going to have his brother Todd on the show Todd who wears uh, two patches, one over each eye. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. Sorry. Got Brian all excited. He's like, "We'll watch that. Two Just patches walks in circles." <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, the upcoming season, while he has been mostly absent from the series since serving as a prime antagonist through season two, uh, Manuel Bennett, who plays the character, has released an image of himself as Wilson on his Instagram. So that means something. Actually, it's a pretty cool picture. It looks, it's pretty neat. It's, it looks like the, it's kind of the old, heavier set Slade, like, looks <laughs> kind of like a Slade. snake from yeah. uh, snake Metal Gear. Metal Gear, yeah. No, uh, I was going. No. It goes on to say that Wilson appeared in season five, uh, final on Lin Yu. Oliver Queen recruits the character, who is now uh, now Makuru less and and less hateful towards Oliver, to help Shadow. him to help him feed to the villain Prometheus, who is absolutely one of the worst bad guys ever created on and the anything. most predictable that it, who, oh, who is playing. The part. I got so sick of that. I was just wanting to slap the guy. I was just like. There's no way that this would continue. Here he is, a supervillain. Elsie like walks in the middle of City Hall as the Attorney General. He's like, "Yeah, I live there. Yeah, that's the way I always talked. It was just, yeah. it was just garbage." Uh, season ending in a cliffhanger, leaving the fate of much of the show's supporting cast in question. Come on, Mister Terrific. Arrow returns Thursday, October twelfth at nine p.m. on the CW. Mark Bass and uh, star <clears throat> Stephen Amwell, David Ramsey, Emily Bitt, Bet Rick Rickards. And uh, Willa Holland. So, anyway, Slade or Deathstroke is coming back. Hopefully, uh, uh, now to be honest with you, Deathstroke character is the only reason I started watching Arrow or the Arrowverse to begin with. Was was that character? Because I, I'm, I'm in a, I like Deathstroke. I liked him in uh, I liked him in the Batman games. I liked him in the comic books. I even liked him in Teen Titans Go when he when he showed up there once or twice. Just always been a cool character. So I'm ready for that. My I'm I'm interested to see what they're going to do with it this year. I think it's a I think the Arrowverse is one of those things that has almost ran its course. Uh, I'll, I'll probably watch one more season or so of it, and it's just kind of like, ah. Uh, because now you have Walking Dead coming back on the next uh, in October. And I don't even know if I'm going to pick that up again. I just I just really don't know if, if the old man Rick doesn't have your uh, attention. It's it's kind of piqued my interest. Well, the old man Rick thing has kind of piqued my interest because I'd like to see. But uh, they'll, they'll probably do it all in flashbacks anyway. So, I mean, you know, flashbacks of him and. Uh, Carl. 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 Doing doing whatever him and Carl do. Carl. But uh Aaron, are, are you are you psyched about the uh, Arrow season or the Arrowverse coming back on here in the next few weeks or are you just do you just don't care about it? Uh, I quit watching Arrow about a season ago. It was the episode where, where all the nukes were heading towards the city and Oh yeah. Felicity <laughs> and found the hacker. Let's found the hacker it. that was running the nukes and that she wanted to talk about it instead of them killing the hacker and taking over the computer. I was just frustrated. The That was her old friend. The whole Ragman thing got on my nerves because... I'm Ragman. Well, the character was actually a fairly decent D-level DC comic character, but it's just like, it's like, oh yeah, well, I can't use these anymore because the nuclear bomb that blew up and I'm done. No, the, the thing that I didn't like about Ragman is like when he showed up originally and was you thought he was a bad guy. He was like invincible, and then once he joined the team, like everybody beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, he's not invincible anymore. But he was only uh, fighting like corporate people, and they can't really fight back. Yeah, no. that's that's the way it worked. He was fighting henchmen later, and they were like, oh, well, beating up yeah. the bad man. corporate henchmen. Bad man. Yeah, I, I, I didn't I didn't like oh, care for the character much, and I don't even watch um, I don't even watch Legends of Tomorrow at all. Don't just don't, don't just, waste your time. 
just decided I'm not going to watch that. So just it just uh, the one episode I did watch, I was really psyched because I thought, well, okay, this could be a good opportunity for to see Firestorm no. do something. And the two characters who play him are together. They are surrounded by Russian soldiers, and they don't form Firestorm. They pull out AK-47s and start I fighting. Hate Firestorm. So I was like, oh yeah, so you're all uh, special. You know, special effects budget must have been really. No, they're low always firestorm on that week. show. This I think is, I think that episode there was something wrong with their abilities. That's what happens on on Legends all the time. Like, oh, we really need this person to step up, but suddenly. Speaking of that, that takes me to Iron Fist. Totally off subject. Uh, what is up with Iron Fist not being able to summon his Iron Fist all the time? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really get that either. The, the whole th- the whole idea of the chi. Yeah, thing. Aaron. Aaron, comic books. Can he not summon his Iron Fist all the time? I haven't read a whole oh lot of gosh. classic Aaron. Iron Fist, but but modern Iron Fist, yeah, he can channel it any time. Yeah, yeah. In the Defenders, every time they needed the Iron Fist, it was it was almost like I just realized that your Danny Rand voice and your Ragman <laughs> voice are the same voice, <laughs> and it like, makes I, me happy. I only have like three voices, but okay? no, it, I got perfect, smug, I got Smug John voice. <laughs> yeah, Smug John voice, which he's really good at. <laughs> We got whiny He's voice. Heard it a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we spend a lot of time together. I have I have something I want to say about the Iron Fist inability to summon the Iron Fist, but I, it's just not podcast uh, appropriate. Well, so. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> You'll have to explain <laughs> it afterwards. He needs to take a pill. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you. You said you were. It was a podcast okay, appropriate. It's almost time for a break now. Yeah, John. almost. It's almost time for a break here in about uh, just a couple minutes. Well. I, did, I don't. The, now the one scene in Defenders that I really liked, I thought was really cool, was when he was in the corporate, when he was in the corporate hive, and he's and I he's so many gripes about Defenders, but doing his thing. I love the Defenders, by and the way. It was good. then um, Luke, uh, Luke Cage shows up, and they kind of did that back to back like uh, Heroes yeah. for Hire thing. That was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. I like the Defenders. I thought the Defenders was. was I thought really, it was one of the better really good. ones. But I, I still thought Iron Fist was terrible. See, I didn't really. I thought that the way they tried to play it. They tried to play it kind of cool in Defenders, where they were kind of where they were all kind of making fun of him to some degree. Yeah, because he's just a whiny idiot. <laughs> yeah, well, that. agreed, but at least they were acknowledging that Danny, he was a Danny. Whatever you do, don't let the hand get you. You're the key to everything they need. I'm gonna go fight the hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Danny. We said don't let. The, I'm. You can't stop me. I'm gonna go to the hand's base right now. No, Danny. What? <laughs> And even, even him and I thought the him and the him, the him, the, the, him. Him, the hand, the, the him. No wonder everybody looks at me like an idiot when I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah, you know that group called the him. <laughs> I was thinking him from Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's when when Danny ran because I won't even call him Iron Fist. When Danny ran and Daredevil squared off was pretty cool. I like that one. Right. That was pretty neat. Right. But you saw that coming. I mean, they had to have that big. I got tote. a I got a big gripe about the one of the last episodes, but it's a big spoiler warning, and and so we won't talk about it. But but yeah. Anyways, I don't know how we this got from because Arrow. You're in love with Sigourney Weaver. I think you transitioned us to Arrow. Man, yeah. it's my fault, guys. We it went was... from we went from Ragman to Danny. This Grant. has nothing to do with anything. But I'm going to <laughs> talk about Defenders. I'm sorry. Well, it, it, it kind of one thing led to the other, uh, and and Danny Rand always looking like he has to take a poo before he uses the oh hand. Oh my gosh! Yeah, What's like, the next subject we are talking about tonight? <laughs> it won't glow. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> please. <laughs> like, dude, Danny, just take the poo. Susie, Susie save this podcast. <laughs> okay, it's so over. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I got to go. Yeah. Work, uh, well, so. we, Charlie has to leave a little early tonight. He's uh, <laughs> the clown's coming. By he him. he has to go to work, so he's he came in tonight and and um, spent the first ten minutes we with us talking about totally nothing. So. Talking about- Pooping habits. Yeah. Of hey, Eric. we talked about <laughs> the glow hand and, and stuff. Fist. I don't know. Well, we need a list. Aaron, you need to write a list on uh, the pooping. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, stop. The, the, stop. The, stop. Stop. the top five. Stop. The top five Marvel TV characters that always look like they have to poop. Number one, Black Bolt. <laughs> All the characters. <laughs> All the Inhumans characters. Aaron, can you put that together for us? John, wrap it up. Sure. Top ten pooping superheroes. <laughs> take a break, John. Yeah. <laughs> take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a... Well, Dude, we're this, taking this a poop glow. break. Yes. <laughs> poop <laughs> break. We're right there. Charlie's got to leave, so we're going to take a real quick break, and we'll be back in just a couple of <laughs> seconds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Feel lonely? Do you want me to come over there? I do. All right. 
As you can tell, somebody has left the couch. Boom! <laughs> Smash! He's gone. Uh, Brian is now way down here on the end of the couch by himself. Yeah, oh, look. He's going to so Oh, Brian. That was a seductive Sultry, pose. man. Sultry, you just got... You just Who knows what's going to be in the <laughs> we've comments got, we've tonight. We've a few extra viewers now. Yeah. Aaron, you still there with us after our break? Hashtag Sultry Brian. Usually we don't have... <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Usually we don't have people <laughs> jumping in and out like that, but Charlie co- texts me this... What? What are you doing? We're hashtagging. Oh, yeah, hashtag. I'm sorry. Um, hashtag. Charlie hashtag. texted me right before he got in here tonight. Hashtag. He was like, um, i got to go to work at 11, so i got to leave at 10. Yeah. I've got to leave at 10, 10. Hashtag Iron Fist. i got to leave at 10, 10. 10, 10. 10, 10. 10. Hashtag, hashtag 10, 10. 10, 10. Yeah. Hashtag so he, he had to get out of here. All right. Any uh, any Lego guys in the room here tonight? Yes. What do you would define Lego guys? Legos. We got anybody who likes Legos. Okay. Yes. I'm a Lego anybody guy. who's a Lego guy. Well, just announced. I've never been a Lego guy. I do not have the patience for Legos. That Legos a lot. are not my thing. No. no. Aaron, you Lego guy? Uh, yeah, I like Legos. Well, I, I like them, but I, I hate having to put them together. But Lego has just announced the largest Lego kit ever. It's they have the Millennium, the Millennium Falcon. Now. I would really, really love to have this because it's really, really cool, but it's really, really expensive. It's like new computer expensive. Mm-hmm. That's it's way out there. Uh, Lego has unveiled the latest set in the Ultimate Collector Series line, and it clocks in as the largest kit the toy manufacturer has ever produced. Uh, Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon is made of 7,541 oh Lego pieces. Oh, my God. Easily topping the former record holder, the Taj Mahal model, made up of 5,922. I had no idea there was a Taj Mahal Lego set. It's it's big enough to where they have a full cockpit for four characters to set in. I mean, you're talking Lego fair, figures. I mean, they're, they're small, but they're not that Four sm- characters yeah. and a porg. <laughs> and a porg. Mm-hmm. Uh, Han Solo, Chewbacca, that Princess Leia, and C-3PO. <laughs> Uh, once built, Han Solo's iconic starship will measure 33 inches long and 22 inches wide. That's 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 almost uh, it's big. It's real big. It's almost three feet by two feet. It's almost a yard by yeah, over half a yard. A yard. Uh, 22 inches wide and eight eight inches tall. As you expect, the inside of the Falcon is detailed as the outside, wow. featuring a cockpit large enough to fit four minifigures, a gunner seat, and a set of radar dishes. Don't get cocky, uh, kid. Original issue, issue, and the new dish feature in, in the current six. trilogy. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Uh, Many figs include the set comes from across the Star Wars history with Han Solo, young and old version. Chewbacca, of course, joined by Leia, Ray, Finn, BB-8, and more. It also features a Minoc. That's cool. Creatures from the Empire Strikes Back and several Porgs. There you go, Tim. Yes, it's going to uh, From the porgs. upcoming Last Jedi. Lego's Ultimate Series Middle Falcon arrives in theaters October first. Are what? you ready for the price tag? Uh, uh, let me look, let's take let's do a, let's do a, a guess. Brian, your guess. Eight hundred dollars. Oh no, uh, I'll say four fifty. The Death Aaron? Star was six. Well, Aaron, I what do you think? The answer. I, I know, you know the answer. Yeah, so. I'm looking at it. So only Tim and uh, Wait, what is it? Uh, it's going to ring in at a just. Only, you know how they always say this. Oh. Only, it's only going to be seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Check out more that photos of the gallery below. But you went over, you busted. Seven ninety nine ninety nine. One dollar, one dollar. But just imagine. I mean, well, think of it this way though. This is this would be one of those investment buys. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's think like you're going to be gluing the pieces. together. Well, but no, it's one of them. Yeah. T- if, if you're a Star Wars collector, what you do is you buy it and you don't open it. Because who who in the world's going to go out? And, no way you're going to be able to resell that thing. For well, not bucks. not right now, but think about think about in twenty years. Do Legos resell? I have no idea. They do. Everything resells. I mean, especially. They, okay, have, have you been in a Lego store lately? Because yes. they they've had those Death Star Lego sets, four hundred dollar sets, on sale forever because they can't get rid of them because no one will pay four hundred dollars so for expensive. it. But if you have one in several years, twenty years say, and it's still in the box. Maybe. And nobody bought them. That's a big investment. You know, this, for me, let me just tell you that this opens up my, my Lego gripe. Tim's Tim's Lego rant. Oh, we when go. we were kids, we had the most boring Legos compared to nowadays. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> like, it was like you had to make your own Darth Vader. You got this, this spaceman in the black suit with the black helmet, 
and the black visor. That's yeah. Darth Vader. Yeah. Now they have like Darth Vaders. Mm-hmm. It, it's like we had to make everything, and now they have all these the kids today, and they're dang Legos. They've got everything. That and there's actually a tool that separates the Legos now instead of our teeth. Oh, I know they got the, the tool. <laughs> yeah. Like use it to bite them. We have so oh, many I like rope, need that one. Like yeah. you would. Miss mm-hmm. it, and it would open and slice your gum open. Well, it seems like the only ones we have heard were the Duplo ones, the gigantic Duplo. Duplo. <laughs> that's, that's the best part of the Lego movie at the end, where it's like, "We are Duplo." <laughs> yeah. That seems like the only ones we ever had at our house. I don't know why. Was Carrie was in? My sister was into them. See, I was never a Lego guy. I never really cared much for Legos. I was more into what they called constructs, which was a mm-hmm. like you a were sophisticated. Yeah, guy. it was advanced. It was like I the was my it own. was like a plastic erector set. It was just mm-hmm. uh, plastic pieces. Yeah. We know what it is. And so. yeah, you know what they are construction. You, you yeah. grew up in the eighties. It was uh, it was for the rich kids. Yeah, that's what it was. I and mean, I had a whole I had a whole room full of them things. <laughs> I had a whole city I built. built a secondary I had a, house. I out had of a wood servant that would build the stuff <laughs> for me. And I then I whipped him. him. Stuff. Then I whipped him with pieces of Lego if it wasn't built right. <laughs> I would make him walk barefoot across Lego. Yeah, if he that's exactly build right. It for me. Oh man. Anyway, so, so my my issue with this Millennium Falcon Lego set is. For eight hundred dollars, you better get a lot of figures, and there's only like what, like six in there or something. Well, uh, poor they Garrett. said there were many more. That's that's what they got. They said there was many more in there, and so that's what. There'll probably be like I would if I had to guess. I would probably say like twelve to fourteen. No way. No know. way. They'll that's, put that's a lot. They there. could. They could because you think about it, they sell for three to four dollars a piece. But you got it like so. That's only thirty six dollars like, worth the of value. Millennium Falcon set. It's not going to. I mean, unless they're throwing in like Nia Numb and. Lando Calrissian. You got two versions of Han Man. Solo. I mean, what do you... Uh, the, now, all the now checkerboard now people. There, now there'll be, hologram, there'll be hologram. There'll be hologram. Helmet. Now, hologram. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to buy it anyway. $700. <laughs> there's no way it's going to be in this $800. My, uh, $800. My, my, my four foot tall, which he's not over here tonight, but he's sitting over there by the flag tonight. I have a first order Stormtrooper mom and dad bought me. And that thing was like 100 bucks at Target for a long time. I didn't know why I was buying it. My, my mom and dad bought it. And they're like, I was like, how much you pay for it? Because they bought it on clearance. And I was like, uh, we, I don't know, 40 bucks. I was like, you paid $40 for that thing? I wouldn't even pay that much for it. But they, they bought it, so happy me. But it's uh, that stuff. So it's going to sit over in the corner, and hopefully it'll be worth, you know, 40, $42. $42 <laughs> in the next 20 years or so. Forty one ninety nine. Doctor Who fans, oh. Doctor Who, which I am, Matt Smith. Everybody loves Matt Smith. Go ahead, let you talk to Aaron about this. Uh, once a row in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, oh. we found oh. that out. Former Doctor Who star Matthew Smith revealed he'd love to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but under one condition: it has to be the right project. What a snoot, Aaron. Who who would he be good in the Marvel Universe? Uh, that's a good question. Well, let me think about. It. I'll get back to you. Can't think Jimmy of Olsen. Any, no, the uh, the guy on like the the West Coast Avengers that can't die. Oh, uh, Mr. Immortal. Yeah, he'd be a good Mr. Immortal. He'd be a good Reed Richards. Yeah. Let's get him, to Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Fantastic would be awesome. I think that's that's my pick. He'd be a young young pick Mr. Somebody. Fantastic. Yeah, but that would still be cool. I mean, who, who says he has to be old? I mean, you know. Me. I mean, the come on, man. The 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 last. Fantastic Four so movie that good. came out. He Made was twenty dollars. He was yeah. That was nineteen of it was mine. <laughs> the Inhuman IMAX <laughs> film beat it. Yeah, yeah. They were like, thank you. They, 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 they were like, they they, they sent me uh, Sony or whoever put it out. Actually, Fox sent me a, a, like a personal letter thanking me for the eight bucks I spent <laughs> on the movie. Good afternoon, Mister Mattingly. We saw that you purchased tickets to see Fantastic Four, <laughs> and we're, we're one of only four in the nation. We're glad to see our <laughs> marketing play and worked, worked perfect. <laughs> then I sent them a receipt wanting my money back. Uh, at a fan expo. Oh, at Fan Expo Canada in Toronto, eh? This past week, Smith was questioned about joining the Marvel Studio project. He said, I'd love to. They've got to ask me, though, the swines. Smith jokingly explains. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it would have to be the right project. Yeah. Go, go, get, go get us some chicken off the table over there, Matt. That would be the project. Gosh, man, he's a joke. He should. They should make him uh, uh, the blob. The blob. No, <laughs> Reed Richards. I'm telling you, it's, yeah, it's Reed Richards. I can see him as Reed Richards. So, Aaron, are, are you up for that? Do you think he's? You think it's all right? You think? Think we should get him a spot? Should we start a fan drive to get Matt Smith a, a spot? He's just saying it because David Tennant was in a Marvel. David Tennant was fantastic as Kilgrave. Yeah, it's the only reason. Jessica. Why. It was great. Maybe, yeah, maybe he could play a villain, Matt Smith. 
Ooh. might be interesting. I just opened up this, and there's a big picture of Pennywise on there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> scare you? It's, yeah. <laughs> the new, the new but not as... With teeth. But not as not as it doesn't scare me as much as I'm glad to see this article come out last week. Indiana Jones Five has a script, uh, but Shia LaBeouf's mutt won't return. Yay. Woo! We can all cheer about that one. Not th- yes, but isn't he his son? Not anymore. Oh, yeah. The Kingdom of Crystal Skull was just so sad. I think it, I thought it had potential. I thought the I thought the movie aliens, had potential. Man. Aliens. It was. I, I liked it except for the swinging through the vines with the monkeys part. And I'm not talking about like Davy, Davy Jones and them. I'm yeah. Talking about the, Here we the, come, the monkeys. Yeah. That would. Now that would have been better. Man, you just <laughs> dated yourself. Yeah. I know. If if it had actually been the monkeys but from my the mom, 1960s. My mom loved that part. She loves the monkeys. Every, everybody does. Here we does. come. Fans, down the fans who hated Shia LaBeouf's Mutt Williams in Indiana Jones: The Kingdom of Crystal Skull can breathe a sigh of relief. The character will not return, played by LaBeouf or otherwise. A script has been completed for the movie and currently undergoing rewrites. Uh, no set state, uh, no set start yeah, date has been announced, but screenwriter David Cope uh, assures Entertainment Weekly that the process is humming along nicely. So there you have I mean, it. I will see Indiana Jones, whatever, because I like Indiana Jones, but I'm not, like, dying for the Indiana Jones remake. No, I'm, 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 I'm kind of jonesing for an Indiana Jones remake as much as I'm jonesing for the uh, Will and Grace reboot on NBC. Oh, my gosh. I thought you were going to say another Transformers movie. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't that's coming so. whether I want it or not. <laughs> Michael Bay. Transformers <laughs> 17. Okay. No, I, I ain't in the Transformers thing in time. Either. Hanging out with dinosaurs, no, actual but, dinosaurs. Ooh, no, wait a I did not. Talking dinos, I might be in. I have never, and the uh, only movie I've ever seen that I've liked Shia LaBeouf in. <laughs> Baloof. That's the only way I can know how to say it. Shia LaBeouf. It's a Kentucky. That you could do an amazing Shia LaBeouf. No, I can't. There's, there's nobody can do that. Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> as they say where I'm from. It's Shia LaBeouf. I like that Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Is, uh, the only one I've ever seen him in that I've ever even cared for him in was Fury. Fury is a good movie. And, he, was, he and, was good in Fury. But that's because he's playing an ensemble cast. He's like, you see him very little. And, uh, you know, and he plays this like... Uh, he's a country boy like this. Who, who's, in the, who's in the religion and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, it, he was good in that. That's the only thing. Transformers? No. Um, I liked him in Wall Street, too. I've never seen, seen Wall Street. Wall Street. No, I haven't seen that. It was pretty good. Um, he was pretty good in Even Stevens. He was... He's good in Holes. He is good in Holes. <laughs> He was in Holes, wasn't he? He was. He's, he's a little bitty boy in Holes. I liked Holes. <laughs> but he's a little bitty there. He's a little bitty. Did cute you see there. that one? He gets, Disney he movie? gets put like in a, in a kid's so. detention camp. I've heard and he's of got it, a big but I holes don't remember seeing it. For the gold. No, because wasn't there another... Is that the one where the kids go out and they dig all of the holes? Or was yeah. that another movie? I'm yeah. thinking of Trimmers. Trimmers. Trimmers is not whole. <laughs> Trimmers. Sorry. Trimmers got Kevin Bacon, man. Kevin. You got to get See, your, I had to go to Kevin Bacon. You got to get your desert movies right. Oh, no. Trimmers is That'd a be cool an awesome top crossover. five desert so wouldn't movies. They're digging holes out there, and the trimmers start just. <laughs> <laughs> now it's got to be the original trimmers, not those stupid ones that come out later with legs. No, those, that was the the, the, the poopers trimmers. or the crappers or whatever they call. Oh my! Those God. ones that shoot fire out of the rear. Oh, the no, Susie, what, was what, like what are you what are you yelling at me for? Do what? The battery's about to die. Oh, on the camera, to, uh, oh man, oh, our battery's about to die on our YouTube camera over there. It's just not been our night. Aaron, yeah, we're gonna take another break. All right, well, we're gonna take another break. Let's see if can take a, a to. We're gonna take a to. Give here. me a twenty, Sorry, everybody. or is it a full twenty? It's a full. Fina Bone. Oh, jeez, that's awful. What are we? What are you doing? John. John's also Aries. April. John is chopped. What, what, what? Whoa! That was that was weak. We're doing our horror film deaths. Oh, we're doing horror film you're, deaths. You're fading a horror movie. So you take your the first letter of your first name, your birth month, and your zodiac sign. Okay. So John. April so Aries. John would be chalked. Birth month is Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Chopped up by Frankenstein at a cabin by the lake. Yep. And Susie would be drowned by a serial killer. What's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Because I forgot my flashlight. Oh, oh that's that why sounds, you always have like your her. flashlight. <laughs> I'm ready for Halloween. I, I'm ready to go. We're talking. Uh, already little got little the there. decoration yeah, started. At the house. Brian's already starting. I, I ha, I've started on my Halloween uh, costume this year. I'm going as a Ghostbuster. 
I'm going Boston as the. Um, I'm actually good. going as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man dressed as a Ghostbuster. This <laughs> year, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> gonna look pretty bad. That would be awesome. Wouldn't Stay it be cool? Puff Marshmallow Man. These are the Halloween planners I'm making. What? What? I can't. Dude, I man, hate you guys. Yeah, I'm. I'm, so I'm, I'm making a proton pack, and he's making something cool. I'm uh-huh. not making anything. So. so, and then this is the hitchhiking ghost and my blow molds that we have. Nice. Ow. Susie's yeah. like, we're, we're ready. We're ready. Susie's like, yeah. you all eat these things. They're eat hot. I've things. cooked them. I've slaved all night. John, you got a, you got a list for us? Yes, I do have a list for us this evening. Um, let me let me pull it up here. Last week's list was amazing. It was actually a good Traumatic list last week. Children list. Traumatic children list. We have turned over the list making to Aaron Allenbaugh. He is our list extraordinaire. He's From our new boss. Dallas, Texas. He's the boss man. He lives in Dallas. Oh, and, uh, I am the boss. And he, when he says, when he says jump, we snap, and that's exactly the way it works with Aaron. Um, you do it. Aaron, uh, you have to tell us before we get out of here what the, what our Netflix homework is, since you were really up on that last week. Will do. All right, yeah, let's know what, what weird or ac- absolutely boring movie we have to watch <laughs> <laughs> this week okay, so we can guys. discuss it next time we're on here. Tonight, this is a total Aaron Allen Ball list, and the uh, reason why we put him in charge is because the Jedi list we did, which nobody heard because we deleted it, was absolutely horrible. So... This week's list is when Muppet Babies. This is a Muppet Babies spinoff. When Muppet Babies puke. Rip off. <laughs> rip off. Yeah, Muppet Baby rip offs. That's what we're talking about this week. Aaron wrote, and uh, when Muppet Babies hit in 1984, it was a smash hit. Soon everyone was going uh, was doing baby versions of this hit show. So here's the list of top ten Muppet Baby rip offs from tunes. best to worst. Ooh, tiny tunes. Tiny so here tunes it was number ten. Yeah. Some of these I don't remember. Some of them I do. I was a little bit. Uh, you were little, too cool for me. We well, I was I was like thirteen. You it was know, too cool. I was too cool at that point in time. I was, I was busy outside playing um, basketball and being athletic. Yeah, being cool athletic room. back in the day. Some I'm not anymore. And a couple of guys were up to no good. Yeah, started making trouble in the neighborhood. neighborhood. John got in one little fight. Sorry, I never fought. I always ran, man. I was I was like a fight. His mom got scared. Yeah, so she sent him to no my mom Valley village. You know my mom. My mom wasn't scared she either. Right? Your mom went. I said you. Was scared. <laughs> no, my mom wasn't scared of nothing. She and she likes village. clowns. Yeah, my mom loves clowns. No, uh, she likes clowns. She thinks clowns are stop hot. It. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's her words, not mine. Yeah, he was hot. Yeah, I love you, mom. All right, he was hot. number ten, a pup named Scooby Doo. I love the pup named Scooby Doo. That was a good one. Scooby-Doo. The Scooby-Doo. only tune on this list to perhaps surpass the original, Pup Named Scooby-Doo, was smart, funny, and had great Scooby-Doo. music in it. I didn't watch it. You were too old for this. Yeah, man. Some these, I'm, this is more your all. Pup Named Scooby-Doo was so good. They always accused Red Herring of being the bad guy because he was the bad guy in the very first episode, like the neighbor. And so for every episode after that, Fred was always like, and the villain is Red Herring. And Red Herring would always pop up. He's like, stop accusing me of doing stuff. It <laughs> was good stuff. Number nine, Tiny Toons. Toons created yeah. by Steven Spielberg that saw classic uh, Looney Tunes characters teaching the next generation of Toons. Is that the one where, um, was that Babs and Buster? Bunny, was yep. that? Because I remember the Buster, only, Plucky I can, Duck. I can remember the classic episode where they got a hold of the beer. What? Yeah, yeah it was. It was, episode, it was yeah. an episode. The band episode. Yeah, the band episode where they get hold of the beer and they get drunk, and it was like it was only like <laughs> one. You've seen it, Susie? It was like a one. What? It was almost like the. Um, they they uh, die in a car crash at the end, and they turn to little angels and fly away. Oh, you know, I remember that. I don't I remember, remember the car crash, but I remember crash. the. Um, I remember that that sh- that episode. Well, that should have been on your traumatic list, there. I remember the. Um, was it Animaniacs? Or was it them that had foul mouth the chicken in it? And he kept cussing. They, that, that was Tiny Toons. was a Tiny Toons. I think that episode only showed once or twice, too. I don't remember. Uh, I always remember uh, Plucky, Plucky Duck was going like, elevator go down the hole or whatever. Yeah. Jumping ahead on the list, dude. Oh, yeah, sorry. come on, man. Number eight. See, Aaron knows the list. Aaron, uh, number eight, Half Shell Heroes. I don't remember that one. It's a TMT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it was a pint-sized heroes in that. I do Wasn't not remember that, that just, one. Weren't those just toys, or was that an actual show? They they did an anime special last year of it. Of wow, baby, saw so. uh, wow. I, I, don't, I don't remember that one. Number seven, a baby baby Plucky, a spinoff of Tiny Toons that saw Plucky as a baby. It was so popular it almost got its own series. That's right. So like Plucky Duck was the baby version of Daffy, although it wasn't not, not Daffy, it was a different version. And then it got its own spinoff show 
of just him as a baby. Yeah, it was like just, it was weird. It was like, it was the Muppet Babies version of the Muppet Babies version of Tiny Toons. <laughs> I don't remember that one. He's always flushing stuff down the toilet and Go going down like, down the, the hole. hole. Now, here's one I would have watched now. I, I wouldn't have watched it back in the day because it was too cool, but X Babies. A direct yes. spoof of Muppet Babies. X, the X now, Babies. It was just a comic book series. Oh, okay. No wonder. Right. Yeah. yeah. X Babies were created by Mojo to get ratings on Mojoverse. So. Yep. I don't. I, I would have watched that. Was it now. Wolverine as the baby was was pretty sweet. That'd been awesome. It was pretty awesome. Uh, Marvel Superhero Squad, a silly take on the Marvel superheroes aimed at small children. The series gets bashed, but a lot things. of it does a great job of exploring the Marvel universe. I remember that, but I, was wasn't that a, is that a Disney XD? I think so because the girls have like some of the toys, but not. They uh, really I think it was Cartoon Network. Was it Cartoon Network? I, I couldn't remember which one it was. Yeah. Number four. Now I remember watching this. Was Flintstone Kids. Uh, the yeah, program follows yeah. the adventures of Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble, Wilma, uh, Slag, Slag Hobel, Betty, and Di- Dino, and children as they deal with their childhood yeah, with their friends yeah. Nate Slate, uh, Filial Quartz, and Dream Chip, Jim Stone. Wow. Aaron? While also contending <laughs> with their bully Rocky Radrock and Rocky his Rad group Rock. consisting of. T- Dude, Aaron, you got encyclopedic knowledge of this. Tar Pit, no, Flab Slab. From Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> Janet Granite, the Rocky's dog. All right, all right, enough of it. No, yeah, moving on. No, moving I am, on. I am finishing this. Move on. I've only got like one sentence. Uh, Slag That's Mike. what you said the last time. Other segments included Captain Caveman and Son. The mm, one I like mm. better was uh, now I, I, I remember the Flintstone Kids, but the one I remember more was the was the Bam Bam and um, uh, Captain Caveman and Son, right? Well, it was the one where Bam Bam and um, oh, Flintstone's daughter Pebbles. had grown. Pebbles had grown up. Oh, the yeah. teenagers. Yeah, those, that's the one I kind of remember more. Now, I was a, I was a, I liked the original Flintstones. I remember them watching them on WDRB in the afternoon. They were very good, and I liked it. I liked the Flintstones. I loved Captain Caveman and Son. Captain Captain Caveman was cool. Caveman. Uh, one I absolutely, absolutely hated was Tom and Jerry Kids. Yeah, I, I I, I'm not a it. Tom and Jerry guy to begin with. I just Aaron's a big Tom and Jerry guy. No, not for I don't me. know why you are Aaron, but you are. It's Tom and Jerry, but they're kids and way less violent. Yeah, well, that was the that was the only thing about Tom and Jerry that was good was because they were like they would like literally like Catch peel yourself. the skin off Tom. <laughs> I mean, it was like and he like pull his skin off, and it's like his eyeballs and stuff. It's like it was it was weird, but it was it was man, it was weird. I think it was actually more violent than um, Looney Tunes. And that's saying something, considering they were shooting each other in the face in Looney Tunes and stuff all the time. Every, I mean, he's like... <laughs> yeah, blow the, off, blow off uh, Daffy. Daffy Duck's bill, bill would be on the back of his head and stuff. Yosemite Sam was always like shooting himself in the mouth. And was environment. Looney Tunes, uh, number two, Looney Tunes Babies. How to make Looney Tunes unfunny to turn them into boring babies. <laughs> it's an awful show. Uh, never saw it. I don't think I even remember that one. No, it's on no. Cartoon Network. It is terrible. Uh, a lot of the Cartoon Network stuff bad though, yeah. especially in their later years. I mean, it just it just seems like it's just getting worse. It is getting worse. And number one, Little Rosie. Yes, they made a cartoon based on Roseanne that followed the adventures of yeah. Dan, J- Dan, Jackie, and of course Little Rosie. Uh, God help us all, as Aaron says here yeah, at the bottom terrible. of the list. Uh, I just, I just didn't realize there were so many. Like, let's make kids versions of, of things. Well, I mean, I can remember when uh, Muppet Babies came out, and it was a booming success. I love Muppet And how Muppet it just Babies. seemed like everything after that was some baby this or baby that, or it was just Brian, nuts. Were, were you a Muppet Babies kid? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we all were. I think Muppet Babies is just one of the things you watch on Saturday mornings, like everything else. It, I mean, mm-hmm. rest in peace, Nanny. Yeah. I mean, you know, when she fell on Skeeter, Skeeter <laughs> and killed him, <laughs> laid there on the floor for three days. And, as I said, Rolf's Animal instincts took over, and he was was no, found chewing on her hand. Fonzie just kept making bad jokes. Yeah, it was awkward. Oh, it was oh, horrible. Oh, oh. And then they, you know, it was just it was a mess. That whole bad uh, speaking of jokes, that that whole last episode was a was a was a mess. Oh, it was man. just complete. I mean, mess. It, it was very controversial way to end <laughs> Muppet Babies, but uh, they just felt like they needed to do it. Yeah, I mean, it was you know it was. It was absolutely. I, I can't even really talk about it anymore. It, it kind of reminds. So like, there's a Stephen King. TV movie or series coming out on Netflix. On net is a movie, I think, about uh, a husband and wife that go yes. out to the cabin um, and they they're like trying to spice up their life, and <laughs> he handcuffs her to a bed and she, and he then he dies. Yeah, and um, she's stuck there. 
something's game. I can't remember Gerald, 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 Gerald's, Gerald's, game. Gerald's game. Yeah, like that's that's the premise of the movie. And I'm I like, can't believe oh Captain. Gosh. I can't, I won't watch it because I do not want to watch Captain Pike run around in his underwear for two hours. Captain Pike from Star Trek. Yeah, because that's what that's who he is. He's like, you don't like me anymore. He's in his like his boxer shorts. He's like, uh, and he dies. And, and he then dies. then it's like his ghost is wandering around in the boxer shorts and no shirt on. I was like, nope. I, I am realize not. It's his ghost. I just I just read the premise. I I, I think it's supposed it's, to be his ghost. It's basically the same premise as the last Muppet Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny. Exactly Nanny. So the same. What are, falls, what are we taste testing door. this week, John? Boy, Stephen, Stephen King was actually watching that episode <laughs> of, of Mother Baby. He's like, you know, I think a book about a guy handcuffing his wife to bed <laughs> and then dying. Beaker and Bunsen Reminds me so much of this Muppet Babies episode. So. Performing experiments. On the I tell board. you one. Uh, I know this is kind of off subject, but talk, talking about Stephen King and Charlie would back me up on this. Is if they're going to make a movie about something, I think they need it. It's a short story called The Long Walk. And I think that's one that they need to make a movie about. And it was really, it was really cool. Premise is, is that every year they have this competition amongst young men, like ages 15 to 18, where they just say go and they start walking down the road and they walk, they got to walk at three miles an hour. And if you drop under three miles an hour, you get three warnings. And after your third warning, the military will shoot you. And it all comes down to the last guy walking who can walk the farthest and not be killed. I think that would be a cool premise for one of his movies. It's based on an old um, Sounds awful. It's based on an old Sesame Street episode <laughs> from the nineteen from the nineteen seventies. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I hear. Oh my goodness, tonight we have a scarf and barf like no one. And he makes all the Muppets other. Line up. Yeah, they line it up. What's on the cross? Jim Henson. Tonight for Scarf and Barf, Charlie's missing out on this one. I think this is gonna be a good one. At least I hope it is. We have Ranch we have ranch, uh, cool ranch Dorito cheese bites. Now these are hot. Well, we don't Gosh. usually do hot things, but these look absolutely incredible. Susie's got one for us here. Almost as hot as Brian. That's right, Brian. What Brian, is easy, second. dude. Whoa! Look at Brian, man. He's like, I stick it in him in my mouth. I'm ready to Whoa. go. I'm ready to go. What? I'm not just talking about cheese sticks. I'm just talking about cheese sticks, man. <laughs> we got plenty of them here. If anybody wants one, that would be. Are y'all ready? Yes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Mm. No? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Charlie would be like, well, you know, I kind of like it, but... Aaron, I wish you are here. These are great. Oh, I just got to what I'm going to say. I don't care. Nobody's talking, so it must be pretty deep. <laughs> sort of like the Twinkies we had last week. Mm. I ate the whole thing. I'm going to get another one here in a minute. All right, I'm just going to go fly out and say it. That's definitely a scarf. I liked it. Take um, those Take those where nobody else can find them. <laughs> they didn't taste bad, but no, no thank you. Just texture? They just don't They don't have flavor, I don't think. Brian? I'm a scarf. I'm a scarf. I was yeah. expecting a lot of Cool Ranch flavor, and it's just kind of a slight Cool Ranch. I'll take some one more. Food. Pass them no over, Brian, Tim's got his Pepsi up here. Like He's like over seven. Like, glug, 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 Tim's like glug 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 glug. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna start those. Yeah. The Dorito, the Cool Ranch Dorito, cheese bites that you cook. Those are pretty good. Yeah. We'll no. we'll we'll scarf them after they we're done. Some, they need a little more flavor for me. Aaron, you ever had these these Cool Ranch Dorito bites? I don't think I have. Try them out. They're good. We got them at Walmart. Do you time. guys have Walmart down there in Texas? <laughs> No, we no, we don't. <laughs> no, there ain't no. I know there's one in Tyler, Texas. I've been to it. What were you doing in Tyler, Texas? Well, we went to Shreveport that one time for graduation. Oh, did you? Decided to go out over to Texas, <laughs> so we we so made you, it. So you've been there. We made it like ten hours in, and only made it to Tyler, which was only like halfway to Dallas. Yeah. We had to turn around, and come back. We're like, no, we gotta go. This is it's a long way in. That's a big state. That's a real big state. It's huge. All right, tonight's would you rather. Let me swallow that thing real quick. Um, orange, blue. Oh my gosh, you too. I can't look at Tim. <laughs> None of us can. <laughs> He's always doing something. I ball. don't. You're the people that say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an eighth grade. I mean, I it's like there and it's just it's me. Man. It's like an eighth grade boys health class down here. <laughs> That's why I was such a great youth pastor. Yeah. 
I'm glad Aaron's in Texas. He didn't even listen to us now. What? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I'm trying to catch up on the arrow. No. No, he's not. All right, so orange, blue, green, or yellow. Mm. What would you have? Let's go blue again. Blue again. Two weeks in a row. Oh, can't do that one. Oh. We've already done it. It's blue right. tongue. Oh, that was the best one. Would you rather be a Cyclops, and they had to put in parentheses, with only one eye? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that there was going to be any argument about that. Be a Cyclops or have a six-foot-long tail? Hmm. Six foot long tail. You couldn't even stuff that thing in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> to hide it. Now let me ask you if this: If it's like a monkey's tail, you can swing from stuff. <laughs> let and me ask up. you this: Down let me your ask pants you this. leg into your sock. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you this: Is it like Kroll the Conqueror Cyclops, where I can see the future and see where I'm going to die, so I can prevent it? Even though he saw where he's going to die, and he went there anyways to save him. Or am I just like a just a regular Cyclops with just one giant eye? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. It has in parentheses. I'll take the six foot long tail. This card had to explain what a cyclops was. Okay. I, I mean, was... I need John. John, tell me about this tail. Is it just like an annoying tail that gets in the way? Like you get stuck oh, in no. the car door? It's gonna be like a monkey's tail. Or like, tail. do I have like full? No, swinging we'll, abilities. we'll say you have like full night power crawler. over it. Like a night crawler. Yeah, oh, night crawler. Yeah, yeah I want a tail because I'll just slap people with it. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> 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 You know, I'm gonna go with uh, like if my my oh my gosh if my back itched oh scratch. I'm gonna tell go with, just be like scratch I'm gonna go with the tell I'm, you can't I'm, reach I'm going with the tell oh my god Brian what are you going with tell tell you're sitting there with a date at the movies and you can just whip Ooh. that tell around her or on her like, like shoulder and she look over you and you're oh like my it's not my arms <laughs> Aaron what, what what are you going with here at the end I'll go with tell he's going with tell he's like whatever it takes Aaron, what the would you do with your tell Oh my gosh! All right, we will not answer. <laughs> we thank you all for listening to us this evening. I love you, Aaron. Uh, Charlie had to leave a little early this night, head for work, but we're glad that he was here for a time he could be here. Charlie picked tail, also. He yeah, he me. picked tail. Charlie definitely picked tail. And uh, listen to us. Continue to listen to us on SoundCloud, Facebook, Charlie iTunes, in flexing his tail, and um, Google Play. Sorry, Charlie's watch us on YouTube. Like and share. And we thank you for being hey, part of our real life. Quick. Real quick. See you later, oh, hang on. Whoa. Oh. We forgot the Netflix homework. Oh. oh. We didn't do Wrestling Minute tonight either. Oh, okay. Here, lay it on us. We got to go. Okay. The movie is called Tag. Oh. T A G. Oh it is subtitled. I'm sorry. Oh. It's about a girl that goes on a field trip. Do not watch it with your kids. Well, thank you, Aaron. <laughs> what are you watching, Aaron? Why is it? And next I, week. And next week, we want you to watch Blue is the Softest Color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Fifty Shades of Grey. Don't watch Please. it with your kids so, or your right, parents. Give, give me a premise, Aaron. A girl goes on a field trip. That's all you need to know. All right. Well, we'll, we'll have to check that out next week. All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a discussion about next week. And sure. Then sure, we will. Yeah, yeah Aaron. Can, New list next week, Aaron. Can pick the next movie, okay? you, get the I'll see you later, players. <laughs> Sorry, Brent. Goodbye, really. everybody. Sorry.